Back in the day, you might see a car with rabbit ears clipped on it. Mercury even offered a backseat TV accessory in the late 60s. But for the most part, TV in the car has been a fuzzy picture. Not for a lack of trying. There was MediaFlow, a Qualcomm technology that sent out 16 channels of cable and network TV via a special slice of airwaves served up from a broadcast tower, but typically received by a mobile device with a special decoder chip in it. It flopped and went away in 2011. Local broadcasters have been uniting behind mobile DTV. The future of TV is now. It's what you want, when and where you want it. It's called mobile digital television. A version of digital, local television broadcasts, but which are coded and signaled in a way that makes them receivable by a moving target. Bring your television with you with Dial. A derivative of that is Dial, which is backed by NBC and Fox. Dial turns your smartphone or tablet into a portable TV. That means you can watch theirs and a few other local stations, along with most Fox and NBC sports broadcasts, but not the NFL, which doesn't play ball yet. However, none of Dial's products or adapters are actually car-specific. There are, however, some off-brand, car-centric mobile DTV receiver boxes out there that you can wire into your car and connect permanently to the monitors in your vehicle to get a similar lineup of local channels. Know so far that all these implementations of mobile, local digital television are standard def, not high def. And not every market, or even all the stations in a market, are broadcasting this way. If you're a DirecTV subscriber, there's actually a dish for your car. KVH has something called the TrackVision A7. It's about 33 inches across, it roof mounts. The harder problem to solve has apparently been the price. It still lingers at about $3,000 plus, not including the DirecTV subscription it needs. Back in August 07, Sirius began offering Backseat TV, a TV service via their radio satellites. It has a mere three kids' channels on it for an extra seven bucks a month, plus the cost of an installation kit. It's still out there, but Chrysler has stopped officially offering it. That's where we tried it on a Ram pickup a few years ago. The next evolution in the U.S. may be what's called ATSC 3.0. That's the next version of digital TV broadcasting in the U.S., which is expected to have strong mobile reception technology built in. But it's a few years from implementation. LTE stands for long-term evolution. Others are watching a new form of 4G called LTE broadcast which would create a new layer of the 4G signal coming off the cellular tower, but dedicated to sending out TV signals as a data stream, though not using your personal account's 4G data allotment. Nokia just started trialing this in Munich. The big question, of course, is whether mobile DTV will even have relevance in a world rapidly moving to all kinds of internet-based digital on-demand streaming, including the content we know as TV, just without the platform we know as TV.